Bacteria are tiny, one-celled organisms with their own DNA. They have the ability to divide, grow, and, as is beautifully and terrifyingly shown here, evolve. Because what you can't see is how the petri dish is divided into zones holding increasing strengths of antibiotics. That still can't stop the bacteria. Do not mess with single-celled organisms. This is the work of Harvard Med researchers Michael Baim, Tammy Lieberman, and Roy Kashoni. But how are their bacteria beating the antibiotic? In this experiment, regular E. coli bacteria are placed at the very ends of a giant petri dish. Now, there's no antibiotics there, but every few inches, increasing concentrations of antibiotics are added, so that right in the middle, there is 1,000 times the amount of antibiotics required to kill the E. coli. The bacteria, which appear white, grow until they encounter a zone of antibiotics that stops them. But then you see, one of the colonies of bacteria will start growing into that zone because it has evolved resistance to that antibiotic. How do bacteria evolve? They reproduce by getting big enough to make a copy of themselves. The idea is that that new copy is exactly the same as the first one, but it doesn't always work like that. There's always a chance that you'll have some kind of genetic mutation that makes you a little bit different to the first bacterial cell. This ability to multiply quickly, during which their offspring are essentially trying out the success or failure of different random mutations, allows the bacteria to evolve very fast. This is evolution in action. We see this over and over as the bacteria grow towards the center of the plate. This is a fantastic illustration of why we shouldn't overuse antibiotics. Every time we take antibiotics, we're exposing bacteria to them. And every time we do that, they're evolving to deal with it.